This is Mission Control at the Johns Hopkins University. Our understanding of Pluto was changing incredibly fast, but one of the big mysteries was still unanswered. What exactly is that giant icy heart so obvious in the images from Pluto? On Friday, NASA revealed its most surprising image yet, saving the best till last. A new picture from right next to the mountains, yet it looks completely different, showing a strange craterless terrain covered with mysterious polygons and odd hills. The team are calling it Sputnik Planum. And then, uh, the next... For the mission's principal geologist, Jeff Moore, this could be the most convincing evidence yet that Pluto is an active world. You see, you know, these, you know, 15 mile, 20 mile wide polygons, which they are themselves bounded by, you know, few mile wide troughs around their edges. Some of the shallow troughs have dark stuff in them, but elsewhere we see uh, clumps of elongate hills which are following the trough. So, so somehow there's something that forms actual hills that stick out out of the troughs and you know, make basically little walls around some places of, of some of the polygons. We see polygons like these on Earth and on Mars where ice warms and cracks in the sun. But Jeff has another theory, that the polygons reflect what's happening beneath them. So the alternative explanation for very large polygons uh, is that they're favored by convection. And convection is something that anybody you know, making a pot of porridge can look down in, into the porridge and see the, the uh, blobs of, of porridge rising and falling. Well, what would be convecting? I mean, Pluto's cold, we'd think well, it would be solid. Uh, well, yes, that's, that's a good question, isn't it? Um, so we're not quite sure what the material is that, that uh, makes up uh, Sputnik Planum. Uh, but it's probably one of the exotic ices or some combination of the exotic ices. They have mechanical strength of silly putty. So even though uh, Pluto doesn't produce a lot of internal heat, it, it is, you know, more than half of its interior is composed of rock, and rock has radioactive elements. So there is modest internal heating from, uh, from below, and maybe these really soft exotic ices uh, only need to have like one or two degree variation and temperature to you know cause the ice to slowly convect okay. at least in that location. Yes. And of course, most importantly, there's the complete absence of craters. And the, the absence of craters is mind blowing because that means that the surface has to be very young and maybe an ongoing process. And young in this case is what? It's probably not older than, and this is just a very, very hand wavy number of, of you know a hundred million years. And uh, but again, you know, that's the kind of strange thing about no craters is that it might also be like a week old too. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is, something's going on that either, you know, it's either formed since it's too short a time for craters to form or something's modifying the surface faster than the craters can, can populate the surface. Some, one of those two things has to be happening. I don't think there's anything more exciting than a confused scientist. Absolutely. In fact, uh, it's nothing more exciting to be than a confused scientist. No one yet knows how or why Pluto's so active but the team will spend months poring over the New Horizons data as it streams down to Earth in order to find out. The press conference wasn't just scientists and journalists. There was also a sprinkling of more familiar faces. So, Brian. So, Dr. Lintos. It's nice to have another Sky at Night veteran <laughs> here. Great, a little event of our own yeah. here, yeah. What do you make of it? It's amazing, amazing. You know, it's boyhood dreams time, isn't it? Patrick would love it, wouldn't he? He would. He would have, oh, he would have been just... in the front row shouting questions. Absolutely, yeah. Amazing, yeah, because we all knew about this ninth planet you know, when we were kids, and it was a tiny white speck, and that's all we knew. You know, the beauty of it. I mean, I'm, I'm knocked out. Well, nice to yeah. see you. I'll let you go and do Great your fourth science. <laughs> but, um, see Absolutely. you later.